There's only one interesting question in philosophy. <laughs> the interesting question is, what does it mean to live a finite, fragile life in an infinite, eternal universe? I think the answer is, so paradoxically, whilst we are definitely physically insignificant, the Earth is one planet around one star amongst 400 billion stars in one galaxy amongst two trillion galaxies in a small patch of the universe, right? So we're definitely small. We can't argue with that. We're just specks of dust. But if you think about what we are, so everybody, me and you, everybody, we're, we're just collections of atoms, right? Some of them are as old as time, pretty much. And our bodies was made in stars, right? So, so we're all cooked over billions of years. And we're in this pattern that can think you have a means by which the universe understands and explores itself, which is us. And that sounds unlikely when you put it like that, <laughs> that you can have a few things that were cooked in the hearts of stars, you stick them together in a pattern and suddenly it has some ideas and starts writing music. That happened here. And so the question then becomes, well, on how many other worlds did that happen? And that's where I think the value can come in, because the, there aren't any other worlds where this happened. This planet, notwithstanding its physical insignificance, is the only place where anything thinks, right? For, for millions of light years in every direction. Well, suddenly, therefore, you end up considering this planet as being the most valuable place in the local universe.